What's up guys? Welcome to another Thursday Learn Day. This week we're doing the dance circle. And all you gotta do is start the program and let it spin. Whoever it lands on has to do the one dance of 14 that it's gonna announce. So let's do this. We all know how dance parties can get. So go ahead and play Sphero in a charging base to help keep it in one place. You could go up to six times around. Taylor. Taylor! I'll do the night at the Roxbury. Night at the Roxbury. What is love? Yeah. It's me. Here we go, Kevin. Running man. Yeah. There you go. the Macarena. Oh. Yeah. I don't really remember. Hey. Yeah. Woo. Dance. Oh, it's, it's mine. Yeah. What am I doing? Do the shopping cart. Shopping, shopping cart. cart. Shopping cart. <laughs> Get something yeah. from the shelf. Something from the shelf. Grab it. <laughs> That's a really tall shelf. Woo. It's got a broken wheel. All right, Binary Bill, time to teach us the rhythm behind this program. Hey there, hope you're having fun with the dance circle. Do 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 da da. Okay, I'm gonna show you how this program helps you get down. You notice at the top of the program, there's a dance length variable. You can set this to the length of seconds you want each person to dance for. Then notice there's a loop forever and there's the dance picker function. Inside of there is where most of the program logic lives. Basically, you'll set a spin degrees variable to a random number between zero and 2160. Anyone know what 2160 is? Okay, I'll just tell you. 2160 divided by 360 is six. That means the Sphero can turn a maximum of six times before it decides a random person to dance. So watch out for that. Next in the program, the scale time variable will take the spin degrees variable that was just set and divide by 360 so that it'll always go with the same rate of rotation around in a circle. Lastly, the dance number variable will set from one to 14 randomly so that it chooses a random dance move. In the function, the dance num will choose the actual dance that you need to do. And there's 14 in here, so there's a lot of variety. After you run the dance picker variable, the spin function will set the degrees of spin to spin degrees and the time to the scale time variable. Let's run the program and see it working. Picking a dancer. So as it spins, watch out. So if you're facing that way, you're picked. Do Disco Inferno. And you gotta do the Disco Inferno for as long as the zero counts, which in this case is five seconds because the dance length variable is set to five. Now get out there and bust a move. Nice. Thanks for joining us for this dance party and this Thursday Learn Day. Check us out on the Sphere EDU app for all these programs, and we'll see you next Thursday Learn Day. Y -M -C -A. Y -M -C -A.